This tutorial is going to explain how to create double outlines to add a neat text effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is find a piece of artwork I want to work with. I have a football that I want to start with, so I'm opening that Corel file. I'm going to add the colors that I want to this football. So let's find a nice football color. And a neat trick for coloring objects that have multiple pieces that need to be the same color is after you've colored one of the objects, you can hold down shift on your keyboard and you can right click and drag from the color that you want to the area that you want to be that color. So again, that's shift, right click and drag from the brown to the other area. Kind of a quick way to color things. So I'm going to scale this down a little bit, change my orientation, go ahead and um, mirror this, head, have it headed the other direction, and I'm going to work on my text. Type your text, go ahead and select your color. I'm going to just use the Pantone Black on this. I'm going to go and I'm going to go ahead and find a text that works for me. Just going to use Machine PT. Going to go ahead and make sure that you have it on centered alignment. Scale it up to however big you like it. And at this point, you're going to create the back outline text. So for the back outline text, I'm going to figure out what this brown is that I used. So I can use the same Pantone and keep it on the same screen. So I'm going to go ahead and ungroup this object for now. Click on one of the brown pieces, and I see it's 471 CV. So I'll keep that in mind. Go back to my Word Panthers going to double click on the outline pen dialog color here and choose a width I'm going to go to other click on my palettes make sure I'm on Pantone matching system Corel 8 I'm going to type in that number for that brown 471 CV hit OK and I'm going to do sharp corners and line caps since I know this font can handle that. I'm going to go and click on behind fill and scale with image. Hit OK. And I think that's probably going to be thick enough for the back outline. I can always change it later if I want. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and curve this text how I want it to be curved. But first I'm going to go ahead and hit Control C to copy, Control V to paste, I'm going to use my arrow keys to move it down towards the bottom. I'm going to double click on it so I can edit it, highlight the word, and change it to football. Now I have this ready to go for the bottom text. So back on the top text, I'm going to select the text. I'm going to go to my interactive envelope tool. I'm going to click on single arc mode. I'm going to hit control on my keyboard, hold down control, and then right, and then click and drag one of these middle nodes upward. It's going to arc both sides nicely. Once I have it how I like it, I'm going to go back to the pick tool, and then I'm going to use the arrow key to move this down a little bit into place. Move this up. It's looking pretty good so far. So now for the second outline, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control C on the word Panthers, have it highlighted, click Control C, and then Control V to paste. That's going to put, put a copy exactly right on top of your other word. Now for this one, we're going to change that outline. We're going to double click on the outline again. We're going to change it to white. We're going to make it a lot thinner. Let's try four points. 
I, it still has all of our options for fine fill and scale with image. And actually, I think I'm going to make that just a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go back in there. Let's try six. Hit OK. I think that looks pretty good. So now we have a neat double outline effect in just a couple minutes. And we're going to go ahead and apply that outline to a copy of the word football down here. So what you need to do is select the word football, hit Control C on your keyboard, and then Control V to paste it. Again, that's copying it and putting a, a copy of the word right on top. So now we're going to click on the word Panthers. Make sure it's the the copy of the word that has the white outline and then you're just going to right click and drag the word panthers over top of the word football till you see the like A and then let go and you're going to click copy outline here that way you don't have to set up that outline again you can just copy it from the other word you have some neat double outline text right here if you want to get even crazier with it you can go ahead and click near the edge here to select the one with the brown outline. Go ahead and copy that and paste it on top. Double click on the outline here. And we're going to make this Pantone black. Hit OK. And then what we're going to do is go to arrange align into or order to back of page to send it behind everything else and then I'm just using my arrows on my keyboard to move it down a couple notches and then I'm going to hold down shift and click and drag this middle scaling node and I have a, a shadow effect to it if you don't like it you don't have to keep it but it's an easy way to make some kind of a shadow effect as well and the great thing about if you set up this your text this way as well as with centered on your text then you can save this as a copy and you can change it for another team so say we have the Eagles we're going to click on the word Panthers we're going to go to edit text type in the new word hit OK and changes it to Eagles now you'll see there's the bottom text that we still have to change. So you're going to click on the bottom text, going to go to text, edit text, type the exact same word, hit OK, and it's going to line up those outlines perfectly for you. So you can use this as kind of your template to create your designs.